One interesting thing about life, despite the numerous challenges that come with it, is that everyone wants to hang around a little bit longer. Nobody wants to die young. That's why even the terminally ill, card-carrying religious people lying in hospital beds don't ask God to take away the proverbial cup of suffering. Most people do everything within their power to achieve longevity, so it's not hard to understand why people invest a lot of money in health care, insurance, eating healthy, exercise, and sometimes personal security, whenever there's a genuine or imagined threat to their lives. People simply want to live a long and safe life. In this video, I'll highlight the three main scientific and time-tested methods to live a longer and healthier life. Some of the topics I'll talk about are a little obvious, such as drug abuse and why being obese will lead to an early death. Others, such as addictions and pornography, may not be so obvious. And lastly, money and its correlation to a long life. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. Method number one, lose weight. If you look at this data, it shows that more people are dying from overeating today than from hunger, wars, and pandemics. Obesity is responsible for roughly 4.7 million premature deaths every year, and obesity is measured through the Body Mass Index (BMI) scale. And according to World Health Organization, Body Mass Index is a simple index of weight for height that is commonly used to classify underweight, overweight, and obesity in adults. So how exactly can you lose weight? Some of the suggestions recommended by experts include the following. Engaging the body in physical activities. One of the easiest ways to lose weight is through exercise. Physical activities help the body to burn excess calories. Eating breakfast. Contrary to popular belief, sidestepping breakfast does not help in weight loss. On the contrary, skipping breakfast means denying the body important nutrients which may also result in eating more food in the course of the day to make up for the nutrients they missed in the morning. Eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. Research shows that fruits and vegetables contain fewer calories and have high amounts of fiber. In addition, fruits and vegetables are known to have a lot of vitamins and minerals, which are essential for a healthy body, reducing the consumption of alcohol. Research shows that a single glass of wine contains the same amount of calories as a piece of chocolate, Therefore, indulging in more than necessary drinking can increase body weight. Drinking a lot of water. Research shows that water plays a critical role in lowering body weight because of, among other things, the role it plays in digestion. Avoiding deliberate abstinence from food. Bypassing food completely does not help in lowering weight. In fact, it increases the craving for the same even more. Experts encourage people to just eat enough food as long as what they consume does not contain more calories than the body requires in a day. Eating foods with high fiber content. Research suggests that foods that contain a lot of fiber help in keeping the stomach full. It is easier for the body to lose weight when the stomach is full than when it's not. The main reason why nutritionists encourage people to eat fruits and vegetables is because they contain high amounts of fiber. Paying close attention to food labels. Understanding the meaning of labels on foodstuffs is a critical step towards understanding their health impacts. Most labels on foods contain information related to the number of calories contained within the food, and using this information, you can make informed choices. Limiting your junk food intake. Nutritionists generally discourage overeating junk food, such as sweet fizzy drinks, fast foods and the like. One way of ensuring that you do not end up eating too much junk food is to stock less of it. Number 2. Avoid falling victim to addictions. The human body has a reward enzyme called dopamine. Scientists argue that this enzyme is responsible for triggering a chemical reaction, similar to that of sniffing cocaine. Dopamine is released straight into the brain, causing instant palpitations, which in turn results in a feeling of excitement and enticement. It's obvious that we like it when our bodies are invigorated. It gives us that extra energy to accomplish tasks faster and happily. Well, recent studies have shown that most people under the age of 25 are willing to transgress the socially acceptable limits to entice the body to release more dopamine. Let's look at the three types of addiction that you must avoid if you want to live a longer and healthier life. Drugs. Studies show that drugs impact the brain by tapping into its communication system, compromising how neurons send, receive, and process information. As we can see here, most drugs have chemical structures that are similar to those of the brain's neurotransmitters. This structure similarly affects how receptors operate by allowing the drugs to attach and activate the neurons. This image illustrates how abnormal transmission of messages through the brain network usually develops by simple reason that those drugs don't activate neurons in the same way as natural neurotransmitters. 
Uncontrolled introduction of drugs in the human system provokes the brain to produce less dopamine and reduces the number of receptors that can receive signals. This consequently causes the brain response to become abnormally low. The end result is that the brain's ability to experience any pleasure is severely reduced. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that influences brain reward circuits and or the ability to learn. When its concentration is compromised, the brain responds by attempting to compensate for the change, a process that leads to severe impairment in cognitive function. In a nutshell, long-term use of drugs fundamentally affects the way critical brain structures interact to control and inhibit related drug use. Drug addiction drives the user to take drugs compulsively, eventually affecting the user's self-control and ability to make sound decisions. When your ability to make sound judgment is compromised, you're likely to make far-reaching mistakes that could potentially affect the quality of life you lead. The second addiction that you must avoid is pornography. Pornography is a multi-billion dollar industry whose effects cut deep into the soul. This report from The Guardian shows that the pornography industry makes an estimate revenue of $15 billion every year in the US alone. Now this is a conservative figure, and some estimates that the industry makes as much as $97 billion a year. But since most of the dominant companies are privately held, it's difficult to get an accurate figure. Approximately a staggering 40 million American adults frequently consume pornography, and at least 28,000 people are watching pornography globally every single second. Additionally, nearly 10% of all adults, 17% of whom are women, have accepted that they are addicted to pornography. To put this data into context, at least 200,000 Americans are addicted to pornography, while 99% of European adolescents masturbate to sexual content for the better part of puberty. Apart from health problems such as erectile dysfunction, depression, and anxiety, addiction to pornography has a direct economic impact since it lowers productivity. Research shows that more than 28% of employed people access pornographic sites while at work. Apart from being one of the grounds on which you can lose your job, watching pornography at work lowers your performance, and poor performance means you risk putting yourself in a position where you could get sacked. Adult content addicts spend money that could be used to meet other urgent needs, such as seeking treatment. The third and final addition that you must avoid if you want to live a longer and healthier life is social media. It's true that social media has made human communication easier and more reliable. WhatsApp, for instance, has proven to be effective in the contemporary communication. One can take pictures of an incident that carries public relevance and share it with the whole world in a matter of minutes. In short, social media has revolutionized human communication and interaction. That being said, social media is highly addictive. Most people will not notice that they're addicted to social media until someone has to point it out to them. Psychologists have recently discovered that a staggering 5-10% to of internet users today are addicted to social media. Excessive use of social media leads to information overload, which in turn causes emotional havoc to the body, especially if the information is toxic. Addiction to social media can turn you into a schizophrenic, whereby one minute you're happy, and the next you're sad and angry. Social media addiction is real and it's dangerous. When you spend excessive time on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Facebook, even if you're making money out of it, you risk losing your brain functioning capacity. The final thing that you must do if you want to live a longer and healthier life is to Number 3. Seek Financial Literacy A recent study has revealed that most people are considerably ignorant of matters around personal financial management. While the majority agree that things like sustainable healthcare coverage, practical financial goals, and aggressive saving schemes are critical in realizing financial independence, they're clueless about how to achieve them. Additionally, most gainfully employed people believe that retirement planning should come before financial planning. Either way, failing to plan your finances properly is a sure recipe for a troubled life ahead. You need money to do virtually everything in this life. Without money, life is likely to become what British philosopher Thomas Hobbes once described as solitary, nasty, poor, brutish, and short. Failing to plan your finances sustainably means you run the risk of being deprived of vital services, such as reliable health care. As they say, you're one hospital bill away from poverty, and with the shockingly high cost of health care. To weather a health crisis, you need access to sustainable health insurance, and it's highly impossible to achieve this if you lack proper financial planning. Similarly, you need proper financial planning to live a fairly comfortable life, access quality food, and take care of those who look up to you for financial support effectively. The cost of living continues to rise every year, and recent projections suggest that this trend is unlikely to stop. To be in a position where you can comfortably say you're happy or very happy, you need to be able to meet the high cost of living. 
Research indicates that people who have access to essential needs tend to be happier than those who struggle to access basic needs. Proper financial literacy will enable you to accomplish long-time life goals and aspirations. In addition, you can budget effectively for each of the projects that you intend to do, without any kind of convenience if you have good financial literacy. Equally, with proper financial literacy, you can make substantial investments that would boost your finances while facilitating a fairly comfortable life. In summary, financial literacy will help you deal with life's scary challenges, such as illness and unforeseen emergencies. It will grant you happiness and accordingly a longer life. And with that, good people, let's wrap it by emphasizing that a happier and longer life isn't an elusive pursuit. It's achievable. You just need to implement the lessons you've learned in this video in your life. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do so to get notified every time we publish life-changing lessons here.